Hi YouTube friends, this is Brad. So today in this video, I just wanna share with you some of the things that I've learned along the way on our search for granite countertops. Today is the installation of our countertops and I'm really excited to share some of that with you. Let's get started. That's it. Our granite slab is called Horizon. It's a tier four. There's our slab. You know, you get your best seam and then also at the same time getting the best, a lot of character in your uh, peninsula. And I also has uh, a spot here that I was trying to avoid. Yeah, so this is our student, student deck saw. This is where everything gets done. Uh, back, automatic. Back in that corner there. Yeah, back there. There's two, two different tables. They'll move between the tables. First one is the pencil edge, that's what we have. There's no extra charge for that cut. And then all these other ones, there's an extra charge. These other cuts would be $250 or more. Here they're prepping for the installation of our under counter kitchen sink. Here we're removing the old cast iron porcelain sink and you can see the old countertops. We did reuse the faucet, it was in great shape, it was only a year old. And it was heavy. You okay? You got it? Our new kitchen sink is called the Deerfield, model number K-5873. It is cast iron and acid resistant enamel finish. It costs $695. Really hard. As I mentioned earlier, our granite countertops are a tier four. The price for them is approximately $3,900. We could have went with a tier one, which is mostly like blacks and whites and grays and more speckles, less veining. And we could have spent probably in the low 3000s for that. Higher tiers cost more, often they're nicer, but not always. Sometimes it has to do with just how rare it is. Besides grays, blacks, and whites, our granite countertops have a little bit of red, a little bit of brown, and I think it's a good idea because that gives you more options for different colors in your kitchen down the road. Besides granite, there's a lot of great options for countertops. However, we decided to go with granite because it's bringing the outside in. It's like the beauty of nature in your home. Our installer's best guess for the weight of this piece was at least 200 pounds, probably even more. As we're going ahead with our kitchen remodel, we're trying to respect the concept of return on investment. I think that installing granite countertops will definitely deliver. Hold on, hold on. Okay, go. 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 For comparison purposes, here's the old countertop on the peninsula. When deciding how to cut your granite slab on the peninsula, they try to have the veins going at an angle. We had them cut the peninsula piece such that it was about three inches shorter than it was. That way there was some space between the edge of the counter and the refrigerator so two people could walk side by side and not bump into each other like they had in the past. We had recently purchased a counter depth refrigerator and this also gives extra space. Oh. 
We also had them extend the countertops an extra three quarters of an inch over the base cabinets. This helped to hide some imperfections at the top of the base cabinets and also to give us more counter space. I forgot to mention earlier, but we also widened the peninsula by an inch or two. That way when we're sitting on the stools, our knees no longer hit the base cabinet. We also went with stools without a back because in the past the back would turn into the countertop and we noticed there was a lot of nicks that were beginning to appear. This is a seam setter which also helps to level the seam. is a rock. Ain't hot. It's hot. Do you have a name for it? Top coat. It's a little dark. The second coat. I put a little light color so I can blend together. So this is a cleaner, it's sealed when it comes. The granite shop just installed our granite counters and they are fantastic. So we'll be having a kitchen reveal down the road here with our remodel. But I just want to show you how beautiful these counters turned out. I mean it is like unbelievable to me. If you like this video, please give us a like and share it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel.